Hey, this is Charlie Mike Woodworks and Design. I'm James. Welcome to the shop. So today we're going to make a paper towel holder using this piece of hickory. I like hickory. I just I love the way uh, it, it, the grain looks, uh, especially when you oil it. It just something about it. And it smells good. I, I like it. So. What we're going to do is we're going to make it about 13 inches, maybe 12, somewhere in between, tall, um, about three quarters of an inch square or wide. The legs on the bottom, unless I change my mind, which I could, are going to be a, anywhere between five to six inches, probably about six inches long and most likely we will attach them with dowels may do something different along the way not sure we'll figure it out so why don't you join me come along and we're gonna make this happen that's charlie mike stay safe stay alive here i am at the miter saw cutting this piece of beautiful hickory down and then we take it over to the table saw. Now this is before I got my bandsaw from the wife. Awesome present. Of course, I'm over here back at the miter saw cutting the legs or the base support. And this is when I decided to use a cross lap joint. And we'll show that later on. Here I am using my bandsaw for the very first project. I'm so excited, so happy, best wife ever, Mrs. Charlie Mike, you rock. Time for mathing. If your legs are nine inches long and they're inch and a half wide, then both of the points will be in at three and three quarters so that you can go in and do what we're doing right here, which is remove this material and gotta do it to both of them obviously and that way they fit into each other the bad thing is is not always perfect the first time and that's the way we really want to do it that way we can just sneak up on it and we don't overcut time for some glue up so at charlie and mike woodworks and design our primary focus is to show those who suffer from PTSD or depression that there are safe alternatives uh, one of them being woodworking and uh, we just want to help everybody do a little routing do a little sanding do sanding throughout the process because there's a lot of pieces that get changed a little bit here and there uh, this is the upright arm which ends up being about 12 and a half inches long. And of course, yes, got to sand that too. Then you get to find the center, the little punch, and pre-drill it, I'm telling you. And then you countersink that because if you don't countersink that, then it's going to be uh, not flush. And that... Yeah, you've got to have it flush so that it sits properly because you've done all that work to put the make the cross lap joint and that way it's everything is good and then you can do this right here well bam look at that thumbs up and finish it off with some cutting board oil if you think I've earned it Please subscribe and share this. That way we can help as many people with PTSD or depression as we possibly can. Thank you. God bless. And let's Charlie Mike.